The Ghostly Masquerade once upon a time in the charming town of Hollow Grove, nestled between ancient woods and rolling hills, lived two inseparable friends, Lucy Reynolds and Benny Cromwell. They were known for their insatiable curiosity and love for all things mysterious. One crisp autumn afternoon, as the leaves danced in the gentle breeze, an ornate envelope arrived at Lucy's doorstep. It bore an elegant script that read, you are cordially invited to the annual ghostly masquerade at Graves Manor. The sender's name was none other than the enigmatic Professor Mortimer Graves. Lucy's eyes sparkled with excitement. She grabbed Benny by the arm and exclaimed, we've got an invitation to the ghostly masquerade. Can you believe it? Benny's eyes widened. The one hosted by Professor Graves. This is huge. The night of the masquerade arrived, shrouded in an air of mystique. Graves Manor stood tall, its towering marble columns gleaming in the silvery moonlight. The grand double doors creaked open, revealing a world of opulence within. As the clock struck midnight, the guests donned exquisite masks, transforming into ethereal figures from a bygone era. The ballroom shimmered with chandeliers casting enchanting patterns on the polished floor. The scene was straight from the pages of a fairy tale. Lucy and Benny marveled at the splendor, unable to tear their eyes away. They waltzed among the guests, twirling and laughing, their masks concealing their identities. The music swirled around them, carrying them into a world of magic and mystery. In the midst of the revelry, Lucy noticed a figure standing near the grand fireplace, his mask adorned with silver filigree. She approached him, her heart pounding. Are you enjoying the masquerade? She inquired. The stranger turned, his eyes twinkling beneath the mask. Immensely. There's an enchantment to this night, isn't there? As the hours passed, Lucy and Benny met more guests, each one as elegant and enigmatic as the last. It was as if they'd stepped into a dream, where the boundaries between the living and the departed blurred. Seeking answers, they finally found Professor Graves, a tall figure with a shock of white hair and a twinkle in his eye. He led them to a secluded chamber, its walls adorned with esoteric diagrams and arcane symbols. The spectral communicator, the professor explained, it opened a portal between our world and the next. This masquerade is my attempt to bring solace to these lost souls, to give them a final night of joy before guiding them to their rightful place. Lucy and Benny listened in awe, moved by the professor's compassionate gesture. Yet, a sense of urgency hung in the air. The portal was unstable, threatening to trap the spirits in the mortal realm forever. With determination, Lucy and Benny delved into the task at hand. Lucy's artistic vision proved invaluable as she sketched intricate diagrams, mapping out the energy pathways with precision. Benny, with his technical prowess, worked alongside her, adjusting the spectral communicator with utmost care. Their hands moved in tandem, each gesture deliberate and purposeful. Lucy's fingers traced the lines of her sketches, her eyes never straying from the delicate interplay of energy and connection. Benny's keen eyes focused on the mechanics, making minute adjustments to align the components flawlessly. It was a dance of intellect and artistry, a symphony of skill and intuition. Each tweak brought them closer to restoring the balance, to mending the fabric of the worlds that had been strained by the portal's instability. The room seemed to hum with a palpable energy, the device responding to their combined efforts. As they worked, a sense of unity settled over them, a shared understanding that they were on the cusp of something extraordinary. Hours passed, but to Lucy, Benny, and Professor Graves, time seemed to blur. They were lost in the intricate dance of repair, in the intricate weaving of knowledge and creativity. At last, Benny made the final adjustment, his fingers lingering on the regulator's dial. He stepped back, a look of satisfaction crossing his face. Lucy, her eyes fixed on the now steady glow of the crystals, breathed a sigh of relief. The spectral communicator pulsed with renewed vitality, its energy resonating through the room. They had succeeded. The fabric of the worlds had been restored, the balance re-established. With a shared glance of triumph, Lucy, Benny, and Professor Graves left the chamber, their steps lightened by the knowledge that they had made a difference. The memory of that night, of their shared endeavor, would forever be etched in their hearts. The masquerade had ended, but the memory of that night would forever be etched in their hearts. 
they had witnessed a bridge between the worlds, a testament to the enduring power of compassion and connection. And so, in the quiet hours of the morning, Lucy and Benny left Graves Manor, carrying with them a sense of wonder that would stay with them for the rest of their days.